the, the um, uh, secrecy, the classification of the program was at the same level as the uh, Manhattan Project. That was how, how secret it was, and it was very successful. If you recall, we spent many years working and actually having the airplane in operational readiness, and not many people knew anything about it. And uh, so it was uh, highly classified, remotely developed, uh, a lot of time away from family. Uh, we spent usually six-day weeks, uh, and we would leave home and come back after Friday or Saturday night and then turn around and go back out Monday morning for, well, I guess probably the first year and a half was that we were separated that much. My wife knew I was flying. I mean, that was my job, but that was all I could tell her. I couldn't tell her what I was flying, where we were. We had a special arrangement, uh, secure telephones, so we could call home through the office uh, fairly regularly uh, and, and not have to worry uh, you know, just to check in and see how everything's going as the as, uh, hot water heater broken down or whatever. But uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty strenuous on the family life. People that I associated with knew that, know, know about the skunk works. They know you're gonna say, I can't tell you. There, there's nothing I can, I can tell you about it. I can, tell you, I can say this, the Air Force were flying A-7s as a cover airplane. They had a, a squadron of them at Nellis Air Force Base, which were supposedly working on some advanced system, and they were they were kind of secret. But that's where the Air Force was. Uh, they used the A-7 as their cover story. Uh, our cover story was just simply we just didn't talk about it. The security that was established within the Skunk Works, the uh, security or the uh, classification uh, culture of the Skunk Works was developed by Kelly Johnson again. And, and back to the, uh, a little bit about that initial airplane that he built, the XB-80 that started the Skunk Works, one of the requirements was it had to be t top secret. And one of the reasons for that is it keeps other people out. That was one of the tools to keep other people from becoming involved with the program, from becoming a bureaucracy. So the Skunk Works security is was established um, out of common sense. For example, if you put a guard out in front of a, a place, somebody's gonna know something's inside. They didn't put any guards out. If you put um, secret or confidential on a, on a drawing uh, of an airplane, uh, you're gonna know it's a secret, something's going on if somebody gets a hold of it. They didn't, they didn't, they didn't uh, stamp any of the things classified at all. They didn't have any guards outside. They made it as, as uh, normal as possible so as to not attract attention. Um, they went so far way back uh, uh, when the satellites were first coming out and uh, uh, they took all the names off of the uh, parking places because they could find out who was working there. The, the enemy could find out who was working there, the enemy being the Cold War and Russia.